When it's time to go to sleep, this is one of the best, best books to read because it's very it makes you feel very sleepy. So you see while I'm reading this story to you, if you start to feel kind of a little bit sleepy because this story is so soft and nice and it's all about a little bear, excuse me, a little bunny, a little bunny who's going to sleep in his very, very special room, very special room. And the name of the story is Goodnight Moon. This book was written many, many, many years ago by Margaret Wise Brown and Clement Hurd did the pictures. And it's so special because we see their pictures right in here. Here's Margaret, the author. We say thank you to Margaret. And here's Clement. And many, many boys and girls all over the world have liked this book. It's been around for 60 years. 60 years. It's a very old book. Oh, what's it called? Good Night Moon by Margaret Wise Brown and Clement Hurd did the pictures 60 years ago. Ready? In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of the cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs and two little kittens and a pair of mittens and a little toy house young mouse. The little tiny young mouse up here, right there on the red carpet. And a comb, and a brush, and a bowl full of mush. Mush. Kind of like cereal, like oatmeal. A bowl full of mush. And a quiet old lady who was whispering, hush. She was saying, shh. Hush. Good night, room. All the things in this wonderful room. The little bunny is saying, good night, room. Good night, moon. Here comes the moon. Good night, cow. Jumping over the moon. Good night, light and the red balloon, good night bears, and good night chairs, good night kittens, good night mittens. Oh, we've said good night to so many things, haven't we? Can you remember some of the things we've said good night to? Kittens, mittens, the moon, good night to the cow, Bunny is very busy saying good night. Good night clocks and good night socks. He's saying good night to every single thing in his room, isn't he? He's looking all around before he goes to sleep, saying good night to it all. Look at he's sitting in his bed, saying good night to everybody, everything. Good night little house. Good night little mouse. Even little mouse gets to have a good night. Good night, comb. Good night, brush. Good night, nobody. Good night, mush. And good night to the old lady whispering, hush. Looks like Bunny is getting sleepy. He's laying down and his room is getting dark. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. The room is really dark now. Little Bunny is probably sound asleep. Do you like this book? Do you feel sleepy? And it makes you sleepy, doesn't it? Because it's such a soft, nice story. So many things to say goodnight to. Was there a favorite thing that you liked? Did you like the little old lady whispering hush? Did you like the uh, cow jumping over the moon? How about the little mouse? That was cute, wasn't it? Can we go back and find that, that little mouse? Let's see if we can find him in the book. Where is
Where's that little mouse? Mouse, where are you? Mouse, mouse. Here he is. Right here. Good night, Moon.